At this year's past E3, many people were surprised at how well the Nintendo 3DS's 3D effects worked. Nothing required glasses, and yet the images popped off the screen like you were wearing the best 3D technology there was available. And that's because it probably is. Before I explain the specifics of how the Nintendo 3DS does 3D, let me first explain how stereoscopic vision works. First, a secret. We actually only see 2D. Each eye creates a 2D source for the brain to compile into a single 3D image. The image you're looking at now is called a cross-eye 3D image. If you cross your eyes and see a third image in the middle, it'll composite into a single 3D image with the illusion of depth. This effect is achieved by sitting two cameras side by side. If we switch back and forth quickly, you could see the perspective difference between each image. To achieve this same effect in video games, it's as simple as placing two virtual cameras in the world side by side. We see here Paper Mario. The two images may look exactly the same, but the fact is they're shot from a slightly different perspective within the game world. If we place one image on top of the other and slowly adjust the opacity so that one image bleeds into the other, you could see how the image shifts slightly in perspective. Again, on this Zelda clip, if you were to cross your eyes and create a third image in the middle, you would see the video in full 3D. This is the easy part. Video games already have all the visual information required to create an image for the left eye and the right eye. The difficulty comes in directing the correct image to the correct eye. For this issue, there are a million solutions. There are 3D glasses that, that have a red lens for one eye and a cyan lens for the other. The red lens won't let in red light, and the cyan lens won't let in cyan light. So two projectors beam down two separate images shot from two separate perspectives, have the correct light filter applied to it so that each image only gets to the correct eye. This is the old way of doing things. Now there are super heavy duty technologies like Sony uses, glasses that flash 120 times per eye, blocking out light at the correct interval. And then the TV flashes images 240 times a second, alternating that many times per minute between the left and right eye. Of course, glasses like that can be 100 to $200 a piece. Which brings us to the 3DS. How exactly did Nintendo achieve this effect without glasses? As I stated before, the difficult thing is directing the correct image to the correct eye. Nintendo achieves this effect by using something called a parallax barrier. A parallax barrier is a series of vertical shutters that's placed over the LCD screen which precisely directs light from two sources into the respective eyes. A typical LCD screen will direct light out in all directions, whereas with a parallax barrier, the even number lines shoot out the light for the right eye, where the odd number lines will shoot out the light for the left eye, or vice versa. Think about a vent. It has a series of shutters that shoots air out in a very specific direction. A parallax barrier does the same thing on a microscopic scale. The only issue with the use of a parallax barrier is that the user must be sitting in a very specific spot called the sweet spot. With a screen as small as the 3DS, the sweet spot will be about one to two feet out and directly in front of the screen. If you are in the sweet spot, you'll either see the left image if you're on the left side, or the right image if you're on the right side. Sharp, the company that makes the screen for the 3DS, actually uses that method for in-dash GPSs that show GPS navigation to the driver and a movie to the passenger. Sharp even has a TriView screen now. This won't really be a problem for a portable handheld, but still it's an issue with the technology as a whole. The rest of the effect we've already been over. All you need is a 3D game, with camera information from two separate cameras taken from a different perspective. Add those images together, shoot them out through the parallax barrier, with the left image going to the left eye, and the right image going to the right eye, and boom, you have 3D without glasses. There you have it. It's pretty straightforward and amazing technology. Hopefully it will continue expanding so that we see it in home electronics, uh, such as TVs, computer monitors, and probably phones before too long. So once again, I'm Jeff Grubb, and thank you for watching.